I'm Bob Wormsley from Insidium. And in this video, we really want to showcase to you some of the amazing improvements that have been made to the XP Fluid Effect Solver. Not only is it more physically accurate, more realistic, with much better collisions, and it's also, and this is the key to the video today, it is much faster. So we're going to run some speed comparison tests between the new Fluid FX and the old version in the current release build. So let's get started. This live Fluid FX simulation contains 22,500 particles. And as you can see, at this low resolution, viewport playback is incredible. Let's make some real time adjustments to this. Uh, first of all, we'll activate this XP Turbulence modifier. We'll switch it on. And straight away, you can see the effect. It is creating this very choppy water. Let's deactivate that turbulence for now and try a different modifier. This time, let's activate a wind object. You can see that's blowing and pushing these particles and we can change the direction of that wind and it'll update immediately with no viewport slowdown. Let's deactivate that wind for now. You can also use other dynamic objects with the XP Fluid FX. Here we have a flow field, which is creating a custom velocity field. Let's switch it on and see what happens. So the velocity field is defined by this circle spline, which is creating this whirlpool effect. And what we're able to do is move that circle around and it'll update the simulation and we can art direct exactly where we want that whirlpool to take place. We can also include other modifiers. Let's reactivate our turbulence. Let's reduce the strength somewhat. And now we have our very choppy waters back, but they're coming into this whirlpool vortex near the middle of the simulation. So the new XP Fluid FX has amazingly fast simulating capabilities. Let's compare that speed with the current release build. So on the left of your screen is the old Fluid FX in the current release build, and on the right, the brand new Fluid FX. These tests will be played at times four speed, and let's go. So immediately you can see the new Fluid FX is far more quick, but it's an also a smoother, more accurate solve, and it's finished. The real time, 32 seconds, 3.1 frames per second. And the old food effects we can see is still solving, coming to an end just now, with a real time sim of 81 seconds, that's 1.2 frames per second. So the difference, the new food effects, 2.5 times faster in this scene. Let's see how the new Fluid FX compares to the Fluid PBD solver, which, if you remember last time round, received incredible speed increases itself. So again, these two tests will be played back at times four speed, and let's start those tests now. And straight away you can see that Fluid FX is indeed faster, but not only that, it's more realistic. We're getting crests on the waves and nice water splashes, and it finishes a real time of 32 seconds, which is 3.1 frames per second. The PBD still performs well, 49 seconds for the real time solve, frames per second of 2.05. So that means that the Fluid FX is around one and a half times faster than the XP Fluid PBD solver. Fluid FX now uses the standard X Particles Collider tag. This means it seamlessly integrates into existing X Particle scenes and collisions are calculated more accurately and faster. In this scene, we have a 10,000 particle fluid effect simulation. Let's introduce a collision object. I'm going to activate this cube. Here it is. The cube has an X particles collider tag. And if I move this within my volume, you can see that in real time, we're getting really nice interaction with the fluid volume. This is moving the cube in a very, very soft and gentle way, but the collision system is substantial and it is stable. If I vigorously move this from side to side, you can see there are no collision errors. Everything is simulating as you'd expect, and we're still getting that fantastic viewport performance. It handles translation, as you can see, but we can also rotate our collision objects, and we're getting fantastic, fast, accurate collisions. 
even when we go very, very vigorously. Let's try copying the object to have multiple collision objects. Translate. And again, we're getting really nice collisions. Let's try some rotation. And again, fantastic viewport performance and speed. The speed and accuracy of the new Fluid Flex collisions are particularly noticeable when the fluid volume is animating. Here we have a cube which has been animated by a vibrate tag and as you can see the fluid is moving around beautifully inside with no collision errors or leaking particles. If we go to the collider tag of the cube and select the draw bounds function, you can see how the adaptive collisions are working. Only the cube's polygons, which are required to make accurate collisions, are used on a frame by frame basis. And this is adapting as the fluid moves. Let's see how the new fluid effects collisions perform in a speed test against the current release build. So on the left hand side of your screen again is the old Fluid FX and on the right hand side is the brand new Fluid FX Solver. This has been played back at times two speed and here we go. So straight away you can see that the new Fluid FX Solver is providing a fast and a much more realistic sim with lovely curls and water splashes and there it is finished already. So let's turn our attention back to the old Fluid FX which is in the current release build and it is a far less accurate simulation. It doesn't look like a cohesive body as water as much. And also, probably more importantly, there are some collision errors here and stray particles which are finding their way outside of the volume. And there it is, finally it finishes. So the old fluid effects solved this scene in 59.9 seconds with a frames per second of 2.02. .02. And the brand new fluid effects solved the same scene in 18.9 seconds with a frames per second of 6.4. So that is over three times faster for the new build. Fluid FX has a brand new granular solver. This allows you to make some pretty stunning sand and snow animations. In this cached scene, which is pretty low resolution, only 15,000 particles per object, we're still getting some really nice realistic granular movement. On the left hand side of your screen, much drier grains, and on the right, far wet, more clumpy grains. Let's see how the new granular solver compares in speed to that of the current release build. So in our final test, we have the old fluid effects on the left hand side of your screen and the new on the right. This scene is being played back at times four speed. And here we go. And straight away, we can see that the new build is incredibly fast and it's solved the scene in a real total time of 32 seconds. So the old solver is still chugging away and doing a decent job, but far, far slower, just coming to an end now with a real-time total solve of 90.4 seconds. That's a frames per second of 1.67. So that means that the new fluid effects build is almost three times faster. The XP Fluid Effects Solver has been completely rebuilt from the ground up to make it more physically accurate, more realistic, with better collisions and much faster than its predecessor. If you want to try it out yourself, all you need to do is get involved in the X Particles Early Access Programme. For information on that, go to the Insidium website. Don't forget, subscribe to us on YouTube and then you'll get all of our content as soon as it's released. So, until next time... I'll see you later.